In today's video, I'm going to share with you my in-depth review of the Mini Lindy. I also put my little Rodeo charm. This is the PM size Rodeo charm and they are supposed to be the same color, but it does look a little different. This Rose Mexico seems a little bit more saturated, just a little, tiny little darker. This one is in Swift, so this bag is in Swift and this one, I would assume is in Swift too, but maybe it is not because it feels a different texture. It feels like lambskin. That's just my opinion. I don't think that you really need a rodeo for this bag. It's cute still if you have one you want to put it on, um, but especially if they're tone on tone, but I don't think you really need one because this bag on its own is already so stunning. Since it's the fall season, I'm going to be styling it with different coats. So I have two right here and then also just my outfit here with jeans. These are two of my brand new wool coats and I got these from Essence, which is today's video sponsor. And these are part of their newest fall winter 2022 season. For both of these coats, I took them in a size Italian 38 and so that is an equivalent of an extra small, I think. This first one is a brown belt coat with double face virgin wool. So really, really nice material. It has a self tie at the waist and notched lapel. These lapels are slightly oversized. They have a little slit here on the cuffs. So these are vented cuffs and a center vent also at the back of the coat. So in the middle of the coat, the sleeves are lined in silk. Also has patch pockets on the outside. This is a pretty long coat on me. Uh, and you can see on the model that, you know, the models, they usually are 5'10 to 6 feet tall. And even on the model, it's sort of a little long on her so that it kind of looks like I'm wearing one color, like monochromatic. I'm so so glad that Essence actually carries S Maxmaro because I don't know why it is. It's not the easiest brand to find either in store or even online. So I'm so glad that they carry them. They also carry the regular Maxmara brand, which is the main brand. This is kind of the sister brand that is a little bit more affordable, but still really, really good quality. This one is the poly belted coat and it's, you know, very similar material, double face virgin wool. It has notch lapel as well, but these lapels are a little bit simpler, just a little bit more classic, more everyday wear. And also the length of this one is a little shorter, so definitely easier to style on a day-to-day -day basis. It also has a detachable self tie and the vent at the back, as well as the vents on the sleeves. Similar to the other one, it's also partially lined at the sleeve portion. If you don't know what color to choose, black is always a good idea. It's just the most classic of coats. And this one, I liked it a little bit shorter so that it's not one blob of really dark in the fall or winter. Knee length, so it's a little bit more classic and just very easy to style on a day-to-day -day basis, but also goes with everything. Okay, so the Mini Lindy, why was I interested in reviewing it? That's because it's been on my wish list for a while. Even though this is not a quota bag, it's still a pretty hard bag to get. This bag is even more rare than quota bags because apparently stores get more quota bags in stock wise than the mini lindy and also apparently every single day our essays our poor essays get bombarded with mini lindy requests so they get hundreds of requests every day therefore the demand is just really really high but the supply is just very very low so you should count yourself very lucky if you have a mini lindy um maybe because you got it earlier when it wasn't as popular yet but yeah there's a lot of luck and just timing involved in getting one. And I'm still after one, yes, I'm still definitely after one. Hopefully I'll get mine soon. But for the time being, I'm glad I'm able to review this one for you. So this one is in Rose, Mexico. The leather is Swift, which is a really beautiful, soft, slightly grained leather. Um, it's very slightly grained. It has more of a matte finish, but still has a slight sheen. And I think that is probably because this bag is pre-loved. This bag is from 2021, so it does have a Z stamp. So it's not very old. It's a, in very, very excellent condition, um, but it's, it is pre-loved, so it was rated 9.8 out of 10. This one was lent to me by Lux Du Jour. They have probably one of the best selections of pre-loved items in Canada. So if you're interested in buying any of their items, you can use my coupon code AMY150 to save $150 off of your first purchase. However, just because it 
looks like a lindy doesn't mean that you can really hold it like this usually unless you don't have much stuff inside which is the shape that you would expect for the lindy but because this is the mini lindy size most people will have the bag inside filled out because most people's phones are just as big as the bag therefore it really fills out the bag very very rather quickly uh, so it makes this bag slightly different from its larger sister size and we will go through all of that I did make a what's in my bag already which I will not redo in this video I will have it linked up here if you want to watch what's in my bag it fits a lot actually for its size but generally I will say it does behave a lot different from its larger 26 30 32 size let's go over the measurements the bottom is slightly wider the top is slightly narrower so we will measure the bottom, we'll measure the top, we'll measure also the top with the zipper opening and then we'll also measure the strap drop. Just about over 7 inch, so 18 centimeter across on the bottom. On the top, however, it's slightly narrower and it measures 6 inch for me. So 6 inch, so that's about 15 centimeter lengthwise on the zippers. So from the back of the zippers, we're looking at 12 centimeters, so a little under 5 inch. And we'll just measure this part as well. The length of the zipper itself is 3 inches, 7.5 centimeters. The drop from the top of this bag here all the way to here, right? So the natural drop of this bag without pulling it or anything is about 21 inch. Oh, that is why. I love it because my preferred drop for most bags is 19 to 21 inch so that is about 53 centimeters so this bag does come in different leathers not just swift this is just the one that i was loaned uh, i would probably prefer a clemence leather myself so this is my picotin 18 touch and a lot of you uh, english speakers refer to it as picotin and so um, it's really picotin, but that's okay. Uh, so the Clemence leather on this is more of a grainier, larger pebbled leather. And it does have more of a sheen rather than Togo. So Togo is matte, whereas Clemence has more of a sheen. Not, not a terrible lot, but just a little bit more. And so I would probably prefer this leather in this bag. Uh, Clemence is also a little thicker and tends to be a bit heavier as well. So I feel like this is being swift is a lot lighter. I will still put the weight of this bag on the screen, but it may not be a representation of all the Lindy's in this size because this is in swift leather. Therefore, I feel like it should be a little lighter because of the material. But regardless, um, yeah, even the swift leather actually feels... Now that I've had it uh, in my hands for a while and also trying my things inside, I feel like it's not as delicate as people make it out of. It's really, it still has a grain. It still has a nice fine grain, but it also has the touch of sort of like in between lamb and calf. It, it feels very nice. And I don't know if Swift is calf or lamb, but it doesn't matter. It's just a very nice leather. It's very, very luxurious. And I feel like it will patina quite nicely. So if you have it in a darker color, uh, like if I have it in a darker color, I probably wouldn't mind it actually. I don't think most people who actually own the bag will use it closed up like this. This is how you can close it up fully, but I think most people wouldn't do this unless maybe they're in transit, traveling, and wanted their bag to be the most secure. But otherwise, I feel like most people will just have it opened and just the zip pull dangling. So I'll just demonstrate. So all the stickers are still intact on this bag, which is why we're not removing it. Um, but you do have to angle it to one side of the zipper pull and take it out and then angle it to the other side to take it out as well. Finally, you also want to straighten it out a little bit to take it out of the leather piece. So I feel like most people will use their bags like this because it really is such a hassle to like angle it, open it, angle it, open it. And even this part, I wouldn't even, I think if I was on the go, I wouldn't even put it in, uh, but you can. It's a layer of security, which is great. But 
just like this it's really really cute i like how these dangle and they look very cute on for me this is more of a casual bag therefore i feel like i would still maybe prefer a neutral color but even in a fun color i feel like this size bag is so so cute and still very wearable so in order to get in the bag i feel like it's so easy you just have one swipe zipper on both sides it's quite secure but at least you get a bird's eye view you get a really large opening on top which is one thing that i really like about the mini lindy because i've owned the speedy many many times and i've recently tried the speedy 20 as well which i really like as well but i so much prefer something like this where you get such a good and nice open view of your items maybe the speedy 20 is the exception because that's the only one where i feel like you can yank the bag quite open it goes all the way to the side by the way this bag the inside color is different the inside color is rouge pima which means red pepper it's a nice red pepper color in here so pro number one is that i like the opening and the bird's eye view that you get like the really wide open view that you get with the nano speedy sorry with the mini lindy i'm getting all confused now uh the other pro that i love about this bag is that it feels really comfortable on so this is really a crossbody bag so it's a very casual bag because of that it's probably going to be a bag that i will get more use out of because i'm a very casual person i don't really have a very fancy lifestyle therefore i feel like i'll get a lot of use out of this uh, the other pro that i love about this bag is that Although it is a small size bag, it fits so much. It fits everything I possibly need when I'm traveling. And I always take the example of travel, but if a bag is good enough for travel, it's good enough for everyday use. I also love that it is inspired, well, it pretty much is the Lindy bag, but it's not really the Lindy, Lindy, like the regular Lindy size where you have to hold it by the handle. And I have nothing against that look, but I just love how cute this looks. And to me, um, I'm more attracted to the smaller size rather than the bigger size. I feel like for me, the bigger size, if I were to own that, things would swim inside and that would make me annoyed about it. I prefer when my things are organized and they have nowhere else to go but the way that I organized it, which is why I usually prefer smaller bags because I can't bring more than it fits, first of all. So I cannot get more heavy than it is. And second of all, because it's more compact, you have to organize your things, therefore you know where your things are. Um, but there are drawbacks, obviously, you can't just throw your things in as le easily as a tote or a larger bag, obviously. But that's my preference. Overall, I'm just really attracted to the Mini Lindy. There's just all kinds of features that I feel like are very usable and very user-friendly, such as the feet to protect the bottom the easy access, um, the temporary handles. It's still good to have at least some sort of handles, even though I can't usually, you know, like stretch my hands and use it all the time, but it's still good to have it so that when I grab it from getting out of the car or getting in the car, I think it's still really useful. Uh, the comfort of the strap and it's not a quota bag, therefore supposedly easier to get, but um, and also the price of this is sort of reasonable. It has a lot going for it that I think makes it so attractive that more and more people like it. Uh, obviously with the mini trend, it also helps that people are more attracted to mini size bags. So it, it's making it harder to get. So again, the laws of supply and demand. Now the cons, I think the cons is that it's so darn hard to get one. It's harder than a, a, a quota bag, which is ridiculous to me. It's not as accessible, which is so annoying. It's not accessible. You can't just walk in and buy one. They usually don't have it in stock. And although it is a non-quota bag, it's so ridiculously hard to get one. I still can't get one and I've been asking for one for over a year now. This is gonna be my outfit on the inside. I'm just gonna link it down below. This shirt is from J and BY, one of my favorites. I just keep wearing it. Uh, these jeans are from Maj and these heels are Jimmy Choo. They are the Jimmy Choo Bing 65. Oh, they have these at Essence as well. And they're actually cheaper at Essence. So that's gonna be my outfit today. Kind of that fall outfit. Earrings from Chanel. And of course, with the Mini Lindy, 
being the perfect fall bag. A good shoulder drop. Again, I'm only 5'4", so for me, as a shoulder bag even, it sits nicely. It's just slightly below my hip bone, so it sits nicely at a nice area, but it also cross bodies really, really well. Again, I'm only 5'4", and I have a slightly slimmer build so it you know in terms of crossbody the drop and everything is just perfect on me and that is why i'm such a big fan of the mini lindy because i feel like it's just a bag made for me in terms of size and in terms of capacity it just is everything that i can ask for in the in the lindy design uh, again these little pockets <laughs> they're there but i you know they're only more for convenience for like a little ticket uh, but I like the reach from here. So again, this is my first impression, but I like the reach from here. It feels very convenient. If you want to close it up more to make it more secure, you can. It also feels very easy to reach in and out because, you know, once you open it, you have a pretty big opening um, and view of your content inside. It looks like this. So I quite love this bag in terms of just um as a casual bag that that's like super cute like there's no other designs that are quite like that i think maybe the closest one is the loewe puzzle bag but it's still not the same it's not it's not the lindy so i feel like this is quite unique and for me i like this bag not purely because of aesthetic i like the aesthetic of it but it's also just the convenience and just how practical it feels to me. And on top of that, it just looks super cute on my body frame. So I'm a huge fan. So yeah, that's how it would look like on me, worn crossbody. I would prefer it in a more neutral color, but this is a great pop of color though. And it looks amazing on as a shoulder bag. It's a little long, of course, but it's definitely a great crossbody bag. It's just so, um, it just feels so easy. Like it, it feels like I, I can go about town and everything uh, so easily and just so conveniently. And I love that. I love, I love the casualness of this. And I think in the right color, it would look so much better with this outfit too. But of course, this is just to demonstrate the style itself. This being a little bit more dressy looking, it wouldn't necessarily go with the Lindy, but we'll just model it anyway, because again, this is just a good way. Actually, no, it, it'll look really nice as a shoulder bag still. So if you wanna just keep it dressy, wear it as a shoulder bag. And then just imagine this being in like a black color or a gold color, any of the neutrals basically, it will look amazing. And of course, as a crossbody, it will look way more casual, but it will look like you're ready to hit town, you know, ready to go. So, yeah. So those are the two new, brand new um, fall winter coats. And they're just so beautiful. Like the texture is so nice and everything. It's like a nice and light, really soft, wool brushed wool but just the perfect just the perfect transitional um fall weather and yeah this length is just so stunning oh yeah this length is just so stunning this is something that i talk about a lot in LV bags, it's the glazing. I haven't owned Hermes for long enough to know whether it's an issue in the long run or not, but for sure with LV, we've, you know, had many bags in the past where they've had glazing melting and just glazing peeling off. So LV sort of has that, had that reputation of bad glazing and um, I, I said before that I'm not a fan of glazed bag for LV in the past. The Speedy is not so bad because it's just on the handle and usually the handles are fine. It's more like when it's on the edge of the bag that usually is more of a problem. Now, 
Hermes bags do have some glazing too, but uh, I've never really heard of anyone having issues with their glazing. So that would be something that uh, maybe you guys, if you own a lot of Hermes bags and you've had them for a long time, whether you can share, shed some light on that. But uh, as far as I know, and as, as far as I can tell, just based on my first impression, all the glazing, all the stitches, the construction, obviously everything is perfect you just can't even find a single flaw. In terms of handmadeness, it looks literally flawless and perfect. That is why I have such a high appreciation and uh, respect for Hermes leather goods because they are just so expertly made that I never really thought of complaining or thought of looking for flaws because they just literally are flawless. And so, yeah, it would be interesting to know if you guys um, have had any issues with glazing because this one does have a bit. It has it on the, the zip pulls. It has it here on the front. It has it on the side of the handles and on the full strap. Everything else is all tucked in. So this is kind of like the retourné style. Exactly how like this one is made to piping and everything. So they sewed it turned it inside out and that's what you get. You get the inside outside, which is which is what retourné means. It means turning inside out or returning it, like turning it basically, that's what it means. Um, and so that's the construction of the Lindy. The Lindy is more of a retourné style actually, because it's not stitched on the outside. It's not finished on the outside. Let me know if you own this bag, what other feedback you have. Like the side pockets, do you actually use it? The inside pockets, do you actually use it? Um, yeah, because you know this bag is pretty straightforward too, but it does have these side pockets which are quite useless on the smaller size. I think on the 26, it makes more sense because they, they are like actual real pockets where you can use the outside pocket for something. Whereas these ones, I feel like they're more decorative. Same with the inside ones, they're just mirroring the outside, but on the inside of the bag, on each, on the left and then the right, it's so like little, you can only fit a few fingers, right? You can only fit three fingers in it. So they're really little. They almost feel useless to me, aside from a little parking ticket. You don't really, I just don't really know what you would use it for. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think about the Mini Lindy, if you own one, if you don't own one, uh, especially if you do own one, what are some of the feedbacks that I didn't discuss? And do you actually prefer it in Clemence or do you actually like it in Swift? What color do you own it in? What do you recommend for me? And if you're brand new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you back. You can also support me further by becoming a channel member. Make sure to check out Essence as well. All the items that I bought and featured are also linked down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.